Welcome back to another Pixel for Life tutorial, and we're going to go ahead and get started without wasting any time. Uh, go back to your ink lines layer, control click that layer, go ahead and invert it so your selection is over here on the outside edges. Go to select, modify, and contract by about 10 pixels, and then hit control inverse again. And you'll see here now if we grab our paintbrush tool, we can actually uh, paint inside these areas. And the reason we want this is because we're going to go to the highlights folder, create a new folder in, in that section. And I probably should bring that up for you guys to see. And we're going to go ahead and create a new layer, highlights. Or actually, this one here is going to be the darker tones. And we're going to go ahead and simply fill in the areas that we want to with. Uh, black, which would be here and here, all down in through here, right in here, and here, this one here as well as this one, coffee cup, right on the toes, and probably should do these ones in here in the face as well like so like that and we'll hit control D and then we'll go ahead and erase this part here that I messed up on All right. and once we've done that we can then go ahead and go through our different options here and you can see here with overlay, soft light, we're getting some different things we can see. And I'm kind of liking the soft light for right now. So we'll stick with that. And then we're going to go ahead and go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. And about like that, it's actually not too bad. And that's the start. So once we've done that, it really just comes down to uh, what we want to do. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this paint layer here and come up here to the highlights. Make sure that, um, uh, actually that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to I'll just duplicate the base paint and name it original and then hide it and that way we just have this layer here and then we can use our dodge tools and our burn tools to go ahead and accentuate highlights on this character like so here I'm doing it on the beak And we might have to go into doing the shadow tone so that it's really bright, or the highlights so that it's really super bright. And that there is a little bit too much. Let's bring that exposure down just a little bit too much. There we go. And now I'm going to just kind of. Make this one side of him kind of. We're just kind of messing around, just kind of see what we got here. And just kind of do this sort of deal here, just kind of bringing out details in his actual body, like so. Doing the toes now. And this doesn't have to be perfect, it's just kind of an overall general idea. And if you hold down Alt, you can do the opposite um, on the color for burning it instead.
zoom into the pen here. And that's actually looking pretty good. Not too bad, not too bad. Inner shadow that, take away the distance. Up that a little bit, maybe put a little bit more distance into it just to kind of burn it from this one direction like that. It might actually come, yeah, I like that coming from... Yeah, I kind of like it coming from there, so I'll stick with that. And then I'll drop the shadow with that. Spread that out quite a bit. And then hit OK. And just like that, go ahead and use the dodge tool on this whole And you can decide whether you want to keep the inner shadow or not. I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i decided I'm not going to keep it. But that's basically it, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this cartoon inking tutorial. Um, and we'll see you in future Pixel for Life video tutorials. Be sure to subscribe and comment below. Thanks, guys.